Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to Spain. I have been making my strips of paper. Do you remember last week I made some of these strips that I have left over when I've been cutting my inserts for my cards and I had still had stacks of them. Um, some are little like this but today I'm making them into little notebooks and I'm going to give these out um, either at Christmas or to my craft um, not my craft club, my slimming club ladies. I do go to a slimming club. And up to now I've lost £12, so I'm quite pleased with myself, blowing my own trumpet there. Um, so, And I thought I'd package them up nicely, like this. These are all just bits. I've decorated them up from my wallet at the side of me, which is just all sorts of scraps um, that I just put aside as we all do so I'm trying to use those I've got my wallet out with my words and phrases in so this is where all these ones come from and I've sorted them all out into 10 sheets of paper so there's 20 um, pages so this one I've just glittered with some glue I'm not sure if you can see it there don't catch the light I have a box of flowers that I've had made for years and I literally mean years so I'm trying to use some of those. I've got my little plastic boxes with decorated paper clips in and I put one of those inside each book and also I've got my laminated dangles so I've put one of those on the top I did the stitching so that the knot was outside for this one this one is inside but it's just dangling on the side here so I'm going to use some of those well one of those on each one I have got to start using my bits up so I'm just going to put those to the side and let's get on with it so like I said I've got 10 sheets of paper so it's 20 pages this is a just plain black card I've rounded the corners and it measures just under three and a half inches by eleven and a half so that houses that but I do need to just trim a little bit off the bottom of these so I'm going to run this through on my guillotine here at the side of me it takes oh that one cut quite easily um yeah not bad at all so they just house into this that fold nicely so i'm going to get these stitched in now while i've got them lined up let me just get some bulldog clips to hold them Excuse the shake of the camera because they are, I do clip them onto my camera holder. So I've got my all and again I'm going to put these so that the knot is on the outside and I'm just doing a three hole pamphlet stitch. And I've got my cotton, this is very strong either knitting cotton or crocheting cotton. So I'm going to start on the outside and do my three hole pamphlet stitch this seems to be going through quite easily and out one at each side of the piece of central piece let me just tie that in a knot quite twangy so I can cut that put my needle somewhere safe and I do a reef knot so it's re left sorry right over left and left over right and I'm just leaving those tails until I tie my dangle on so now I'm going to decorate the front 
yeah that's folding up okay although it is slightly off center at the top but that's fine it works okay so I'm going to decorate this up I'm just going to get some bits of paper out of my scrap box I've pulled some bits out already but let's just get a base on just see what I can find in here for a base I usually have some book pages or some mu oh, there's some music paper that'll do so I'm just going to tear that edge because I like torn edges and up to about there put that back in the folder try and straighten that up a wee bit and across the bottom there I'll just ink this I've been using a black ink and it's um, John's eyes ink uh, John Lockwood um, I think it's from Crafts 2, but I think Isink is actually based in France. That's where they get it from. So I'm going to get my glue. So I'm just using this as a base. Then I'll put more decorative papers on the top. Now I'm trying to get right up to the edge because my aim is that people can use these as a handbag notebook so you don't want sticking out edges that can catch on things in your bag I'll just get my cloth like so then this could go on again I'm just going to tear the edges because that's my preference some people don't like it it's entirely how up to you how you decorate and again I'm going to ink it as well I have got another image of a fox these were a freebie from Tracy Fox uh, quite a while ago I'm not sure whether they were a freebie in a Facebook page or whether it was in the um, foxy rag so I'm going to put that on like so or should I try and keep that flower I quite like that image there so I might just put it lower down yeah I'm going to do it like that I'm just going to tear this edge as well It's a wee bit warm here today. It starts off really cold in the morning. We've had bitter wind the last few days, but it's um, once the sun comes out, it's really quite warm. So I'm just going to put that there. And that one on top. Get rid of all these bits. And then I'm just going to ink this. I've just torn it out so it's got nice rough edges. A bit more ink on the top there. And then I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm going to find some words or a quote, like so. Don't need those bits. Right, I have pulled some out. That I'm going to keep for the top of the bag. So I've got some numbers. These were in my words and phrases wallet. Oh, wrong one. Where's that gone? Um, and they've got, some of them have fallen out the bag, so I'm afraid I can't tell you whose digitals these were or are. 
so let's put here, that one there, that one there. I just thought these would make nice um, little bits. I might, if I do quite a few, I might just put them in a box when I go to Slimming Club and ask Karen if I can just put them on the table by her and just see if the ladies will donate a, a euro which can go towards the charity. Charities that I support um, mostly, well the two main ones are La Finca de Castellana which is the dog and animal rescue one where we got our Rico from and another one is called Helping Hands which helps feed the less fortunate um, I think they open up twice a week and they can go down and get a carrier bag with some food and they do keep some household items you know and blankets and stuff I do also crochet blankets hats scarves cowls and I give to them as well then that they can give those out to the people if they need them so that I think is okay for the front so I don't put anything inside except one of my paper clips so this is going to be used purely as a sort of little notebook in your handbag so I'm going to use that one because it won't be too um, sticky outy if you know what I mean so I'm just going to clip a few pages together oops slide it on like so I'm just going to pull it down so that the heart just hangs down at the bottom a bit then when it's in the cellophane bag it can just be seen there like that so put that box away then I'm going to get a dangle uh, I've got loads of these I just love making these sort of things uh, green doesn't really go with that colour scheme I do like these from Tracy Fox these little mini tags which I have laminated some of them little tiny ones just laminated on one side so I'm going to use this one because it's sort of greeny black not the turquoise that the other one was so what I'm going to do is just tie this the two pieces of twine left over from tying the signature in tie it in a knot just about two centimeters from the spine and then these are on a, a bulb pin so I'm just going to clip this through the hole through the twine then that can hang down like so yeah now I've got a plastic bag or a cellophane bag ready here these measure five inches by nearly, just under eight so I'm going to pop that in so that you can see that there's a charm at the bottom there and you can see this at the top just fold it over by about a centimetre then what I do I've got some paper the black paper cut so I've got some decorative cutting scissors I'm just going to cut along that edge just to give it a bit of decoration you could use a border punch as well but I'll just keep these scallop scissors in my drawer just to um, when I need them I'm just going to ink the edge a wee bit fold it so that the scalloped edge is longer then I'm going to get my stapler right folded edge so it's folded over at the top slide this on 
and I've put two staples in about an inch from the side both sides so that you're catching the cellophane as well to seal it and then I've got this quote try to look at your weakness and convert it into your strength that's success so I'm just going to glue that on in fact I'm going to cut it down a wee bit because it's a little bit wide then you can still see the scalloped edge of the card like so glue this on these would be good to go in happy mail just as a gift I some I do give my two doctors receptionists um, the something like this at Christmas little notebooks so I'm going to get two flowers out of my box um, so I don't want them too sticky up but I do want white that will go with the black and white card I've got another one like that I do like to put the same style on if you know what I mean those two I think will do I'm going to stick those on and then I'm going to probably put a pearl in the middle like so give that time to set up set up the glue like so I'm just offsetting them a bit like that they will set up okay because they're sticking onto paper it's not like they're sticking onto the cellophane bag and I'm going to drop a little pearl or gem into the middle uh, I've only got one of those there's a couple of these goldy coloured ones here see if they're the same colour not far off I think one's just slightly cream and one's white so I'm just going to put those in the centre of the flowers and this glue does dry clear so it will be alright get me pokey sticky thing drop that into the middle and give that time to set up with the glue to stick so that's a nice little gift or happy mail and I'm going to make quite a few of these this afternoon while it's Saturday I'd started doing most of my filming on Saturday now and you know that's my favorite day of the week because John cooks tonight there we go give that time to set and that should be okay okay thanks for joining me today and I shall see you next time. Bye.